And my question is... My question is... My question for IOM is this. How are you empowering vulnerable communities, such as displaced and indigenous youth, to be meaningfully involved in policy processes, knowing that these are mostly in English and these communities may have a language barrier, such for example native languages, sign language, no vision, among others? Hi Vanya, thanks for your question. Here at IOM, we are absolutely committed to identifying the barriers to engagement and to make sure that we work with communities so that we can over overcome those barriers. All of our work at the grassroots level is meant about making sure a community can access basic services and protection so we can support very active participation in our programs and involvement in decision-making processes. And where possible, we're adapting our activities to fit the requirements of the population within the resources that we have available. So for example, we'll translate and interpret our policies and practices in local languages, or we'll recruit staff from the local population who can serve as part of the IOM team. We promote two-way knowledge transfers, and we design programs and activities that include everyone in need, no matter where they come from, no matter their gender identity, sex, class, race, ethnicity, status, or age. We want to be sure that we understand what the community needs and that the community we serve understands what we do and how we go about it. Ultimately, we're accountable to you and the millions of others globally, and we are committed to doing our ultimate best to empower vulnerable communities around the world.